Okay, the next cause is economic cause. Right, when we start to speak about economic cause of French Revolution, we have to understand the population of France increased considerably, thinking about the standard which was existing at that time. In 1715, the population was something like 23 million and it went to 28 million by 1789. If you consider now, it may not be a big increase, but considering the situation at that time, it was a big increase. So the increase of population, of course, um, increased the demand for food, for food grains, because there are more people and they need more food. And the production of food grains could not be increased. Moreover, there was a, some uh, natural disasters or nat natural uh, causes due to which the produ produce of that particular period was reduced of uh, drought and some uh, snow, high snowfall, etc., reduced the output or the product, produce of uh, food grains and instead of increasing it, it actually decreased. And uh, remember, demand increased and uh, the amount of product uh, produced decreased. So, naturally, the price increased. So, the, incre uh, the price of food grains increased due to these two reasons. One, increase in population. Second, production of food grains was low. Now, the third point to remember there was that majority of the people were working on wages, daily wages workers. So, the, the amount of money they receive is fixed. And these wages did not increase, which means the food produce the price of food increased and the wages stayed the same and the population increased. So majority of this working class could not afford this price. They couldn't buy sufficient food to sustain the life of, uh, of the family. And this was known as a subsistence crisis. The, it led to a bread riot in France, which means people were fighting for bread. Prices of bread increased and uh, wages did not increase, they didn't have enough money to buy enough food and people were fighting to get some bread. And it is also known that the, the bakers during that time, they tried to profit from the situation, they reduced the quantity of the, of the, the weight of the bread. and. So, there was a chaos because of this situation. People were fighting for their survival. This is known as sub, sub, um, subsistence crisis. And the bread riot um, also happened during this period because the price uh, increased so much so that the people could not afford it. So, these are the main points in economic course which led to French Revolution. Now, let us move forward to the next course. 